The Virgin Islands Marine Academy is a pilot project that can help open a world of possibilities to 180 students per year. Funded through corporate and private donations, the VIMA not only trains, mentors, and certifies these students in a variety of marine disciplines, it aggressively seeks to employ certified students in the marine industry. Now, here's your host for Eye on the Islands, Sarah Lazama. They're the masterminds behind what could become the United States' premier seamanship school, located right here in the Virgin Islands. Void of any walls or a rooftop, the Virgin Islands Marine Academy was built on the desire of former member of the U.S. bobsled team turned skeleton racer Troy Billington and his brother Eric to provide young Virgin Islanders with not only jobs but successful careers at sea. I'm Sarah Lazama and you're watching Eye on the Islands. Hi, good morning and good morning. welcome. Thanks good morning. for joining us. Thank you. Hi. Tell me, what is the Virgin Islands Marine Academy? It's a C school uh, designed to provide certifications and licenses for young men and women so that they can pursue a career or a job at sea um, using boats and facilities that we have around the Virgin Islands as the means for the school. One is for motoring, sailing, fishing, and scuba diving. Those are the four they learn on the four boats. They literally walk from Eudora Ken to Red Hook Dock, jump on the four boats, they're gone. On the weekends, they're with Laura Fleming over at the Red, Hook, I mean, at the, uh, Red Cross, learning lifeguard and swimming. So th and they'll also learn CPR and first aid. That's six certifications, seven if they pass a lifeguard. Um, that's basically how it's structured as far as the certifications. Okay, so how long is each class? Or course one week long so they will come to, to the boat four hours each day Monday through Friday and at the end of the week they get a certification for that week-long course they took then they jump to the next boat it could be fishing and they spend a week on the fishing boat certification at the end of that then they jump to the next boat scuba diving until they've done all four weeks all four boats all four skills okay. and this is kind of a community partnership very much so. Uh, we're, we're reaching out to the community too, uh, kind of letting them know what we're doing and the program that we're bringing on. Um, as it's all about the community, uh, we're trying to start this over in the Red Hook area and we ex absolutely plan to grow over to the uh, Charlotte Amalie area for that high school. So uh, this is all about the community. We want to get the community involved with it. Uh, it's about improving the community, working with the kids, giving them other outlets other than some of the ones that they've chosen uh, that are currently available for them, which are very few. Um, so that's, that's really what it is. It's all about community. We want the community to kind of put their arms around this because it's something that uh, we feel will absolutely help the island and, and uh, not only St. Thomas, but expanding it on to St. Croix and the other islands as well. Now, the instructors that are involved in this program, do they already have their own businesses and um, th that kind of thing on island, which these kids can then maybe transition into? Yeah, yes. That, actually, that was, that's what makes this program um, so easy and relaxed to create is because all of the people who are working with us already have their own businesses or clubs or organizations and our instructors are actually the president and commanders of these organizations. So all the infrastructure is in place, the insurance, the registrations, the boats, they have everything they need. So we're just basically giving them our kits. It's almost like an apprenticeship and a direct internship with what they're going to be with these um, instructors in their boats. So yeah, this, this part is already set in place. Do, That's one ahead. of the things that we really would like to do is make sure the other vendors that are out there in the community understand the training that we're giving these students and the organizations that are giving them this training so that they, when they do complete this and get out of high school, that they can look to them as some of the uh, possible candidates for jobs. So that's kind of a relationship that we'd like to establish with the other vendors that are out there as well. Parents, government officials, business people, especially the business people, when we train our young youth and they're qualified, respect, discipline, you can depend on the kids to show up to work with pride. They should be considered and should get a slice of the pie off the table, not just the crumbs off the floor. That's my main goal. Give back to the kids in the community that give me so much. When you mention the Marine Academy to me, that's right up my alley. It's something that badly needed for a long time. And our kids have, our community have a lot to benefit from it. Um, knowing that it's the cleanest and one of the fastest growing industry in our times, I think it's overdue. And it's about time we get our young people on board 
and I support this 100%. Well, we're going to start off with a, the U.S. Sailing Level 1 uh, certification over the first three days of the, of the, of the course for these kids. Uh, the idea of this is to get them to be able to sail on their own and give them a nice foundation. Uh, and then the last two days, we're going to actually put them into a situation where they would work in the service industry on board a, uh, a six-passenger uh, day sailboat. So they would be responsible for uh, sails and lines and possibly even some steering, tying boats up to the dock, as well as how to greet guests, bring them on board, uh, how to speak with guests, serve drinks, serve food, and actually be a part of the entire uh, charter uh, process. Well, the benefits, you know, we talked about how the benefits for the kids are, are, are pretty obvious. It's going to help them get into the industry. Uh, for people in the industry like myself is actually going to be very beneficial and that's sort of a community effort. Uh, right now we're hiring so many people from the states and from Europe and stuff to come in to do these jobs um, and we not only have to, tr to train them on the actual job but we have to train them on the island. We'd much prefer to have local, uh, local kids, people that grew up here that know the island, they can bring that flavor to the, to the industry and uh, can really kind of give a, a, a little more dynamic approach to how people are going to learn. There's no doubt that uh, our customers, our clients that come down here to the resorts and want to learn how to sail, they're going to love learning how to sail and learning all these different water sports with people that have, have learned and done that in the islands themselves. It just gives it a little more authenticity and it's something I'm very much looking forward to having more locals work with us here uh, on the beaches and out on the water in the Virgin Islands. First of all, boating safety. Uh, you, there are a lot of captains, you can teach them everything about how to operate a boat, how to uh, maneuver, a little navigation, a little how to use the GPS and all that. But if they're not being safety conscious, then they you have problems. How you handle boats of different sizes, first you have to know what the type of boat is, how it responds, so you can know what to do in case of an emergency. How to anchor a boat safely, how to come to a dock safely how to maneuver the vessel uh, and how to respect others on the water as you're respecting the water and yourself. It's very important for members of this community to understand where we are located. We are in the Caribbean, we are on a small island surrounded with water, everybody knows that. And there's so many beautiful things we can uh, encourage our youngsters to get involved with. And not thinking about, oh, this from somebody from the outside, oh, they, they can't do this, they can't do that, the other. Get them involved. And that's one of the whole things, I, one of the things I love about this, this, this program as I see it in, um, unfolding here and getting ready to go. That the opportunities are going to be there to present themselves. And people of the community need to get behind this program and support it as much as possible because it's going to benefit all the youngsters coming up. We are all captains like me, we're going to be phasing out pretty soon and we have to get a new crop coming up and uh, get them involved, get them interested and, and get them making a contribution to this industry. The um, marine industry years ago was responsible for a hundred million dollars coming into our economy. And I have the documentations on that, I, it, it's, it's true. And it, we, we lost a lot of it. We need to try to get that back. So with Aqua Action, what they're going to be learning is they're going to become open water scuba divers. It is the first step, the entry level into the professional career. So they will be fully certified and able to go scuba diving recreationally. From that point, they can move on to become dive masters where they then can be professionals in the community and actually work in some of these, these jobs. They're also going to be learning about marketing and hospitality and how the um, dive industry caters to the tourists and how they can um, better themselves in that area. They're also going to be getting a little bit of a legal background on releases, liability issues in the, in the diving industry. Uh, the American Red Cross of the Virgin Islands is going to give the VI Marine Academy students um, Guard Start and Learn to Swim courses. Um, during the course of this program, these kids are going to be exposed to lifeguarding skills, procedures, um, rescue um, techniques, and they're basically going to learn just about everything that a lifeguard does. For those children that have been evaluated not to be able to um, past the Guard Star program, we are going to offer instruction in swimming, levels one through six. 
The VI Marine Academy is um, very interested in making sure that our young people are introduced to aquatic careers and making sure that all the Virgin Islands children learn to swim. Um, it's a travesty that um, we live in the Virgin Islands. We have, you know, several beautiful beaches at our disposal, and our young people, you know, never look towards a career in uh, marine in the marine field. Um, we are aiming, in conjunction with VI Marine Academy, to correct that and to make sure that all children coming out of our public schools are exposed to swimming, are taught to swim, and are introduced to marine-based careers. The U.S. Virgin Islands depends mostly on tourism, and like any other island that is considered a destination of choice, water is central to our survival. And these waters offer sport fishing, motoring, sailing, diving, and many other recreational activities that are second to none. All of this depends on well-trained, qualified individuals to help support the system known as the marine industry. Should you choose to make a donation on behalf of the Virgin Islands Marine Academy, not only is it tax deductible, all monies received go directly to the support of the Academy.